On 28th of October 2021, Mark Zuckerberg has announced to change their company name from Facebook to Meta because they're planning to building something called Metaverse. In this video, we will talk about what is Metaverse, what opportunity it brings to the business community, the advantages, and maybe some disadvantages of it to the whole community. But before that, let's dive into the Metaverse world. Whoa, I look so cool in here. Let's meet Hajar and ask her more about Metaverse. Oh, Hajar, hi! Hi, Asha. Nice to meet you in here. Since you are here, can you explain more about Metaverse? Metaverse was initially introduced in Neil Stephenson's 1992 novel entitled Snow Crash, in which humans interact with each other and software agents in a three-dimensional virtual world, utilizing real-world metaphors as avatars. The word metaverse most commonly used to describe a shared virtual environment that can be accessed via the internet. Other than that, the term can refer to a digital environment that is designed to look like the real world through the use of virtual reality VR or augmented reality AR. The goal of metaverse is to create a new online reality that allows people to engage with digital information in multiple dimensions rather than just watching it. Wow, that sounds really cool. But what do you think Metaverse can give to the business opportunity? Hmm, let's meet Adrina to ask her more about that. Hi, Asha. Adrina, nice to see you. You seem very enjoying here. Of course, I love this place so much. I can see that. Do you think this Metaverse gives these opportunities to the business community? Yes, we can see how Metaverse work in four scenarios. Firstly, Metaverse in remote working, where the VR environment will allow things like 3D simulation, infinite whiteboarding, 3D data modeling and much more. The Metaverse could have entire office and cityscapes where employees can gather or even complete independent tasks. Besides, they can also work on virtual desktop, create 3D designs and view holograms of their colleagues moving around. This means that the Metaverse will provide a wide and complex experience that does not disconnect you from your surroundings. Next, Metaverse can also work in digital-only products or real products in digital life in. Imagine having a conversation on things that you and your friends would like to buy in a park. For example, sneakers. In an instant, a selection of sneakers flashes out into your peripheral vision. The details of your favorite style allow your AI assistant to point in your selection. This way, shoppers will be able to get a 360-degree view of how these items will look instead of having to deal with the limitations of traditional e-commerce. Hmm, I'm kinda agree with that too. Let's talk about concert. I love concert. To go to the concert, we need to go somewhere to attend it. Now, no more with the metaverse. Business company can reap more profit when the concert is attended by various people from all over the world without limitation. We can also stay at home in safe condition. Beside that, metaverse also gives business opportunity in developing metaverse hardware. We now have VR headset. Business owner can develop them to be lighter and smaller and making them maybe like a glasses or contact lenses. In the future, they can produce the device like our phone that can support augmented reality for us to feel more real, maybe with a touchy sand. Sorry for interrupting but we kinda agree with that. Eh, hi Alima and Gani. We didn't mean to eavesdrop you guys but I want to add a little bit more. We can see how Metaverse bring many opportunities for people to experience things they cannot do. With Metaverse, people can visit destinations all around the world using only virtual reality headsets in addition to visiting in person. People nowadays will prefer to visit destinations using Metaverse technology before spending money on expensive air and hotel packages. Besides, Metaverse makes gaming more real. People begin to commit their time gaming as a means of escaping loneliness. This is where these people first learn about the Metaverse, both VR and AR as its cameras in erasing the barrier between the actual and virtual worlds. Metaverse also will allow the consumers to experience products before purchasing without leaving the room with the help of the headset. This experience allows the users to get first-hand experience about the feel of the products and how they will bring value into their life. Day by day, technology will exceed our expectation, but I'm quite skeptical about this new invention. I'm pretty sure there will be some lags in the metaverse, especially because it is still new. Yes, since the metaverse is human-made, of course it is not perfect. 
There are actually three potential disadvantages of using Metaverse. The first disadvantage is the issue of information privacy. Companies will collect as many data as possible from the users of Metaverse for their business interests which lead to a loss of personal privacy. Second, emerging user addiction. Development of Metaverse will cause many problematic social media use where the user's mental and physical state will be negatively affected over a prolonged time period because of addiction. The last disadvantage is the alternative to escape reality. Users of Metaverse will be too immersed in the VR ecosystems to the extent that they will always resort to using Metaverse whenever they face a problem in the real world. Now I understand. We hope everyone is clear about Metaverse. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Bye!